Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer brought to you by Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Tequesta, Florida. It is Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. May is whipping right by. My name is Kathy Hawkett and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Morning and Evening Prayer Team who brings you morning prayer each Monday through Friday at nine o'clock live. For those who might want to join us at another time, simply go to goodshiponline.org. On the drop-down menu, choose uh, worship and under that prayer. And if you drop down there, you will find a picture of pews with prayer books in them, and that will bring you to us. Underneath that uh, are the daily uh, prayers that we utilize each morning. Uh, at 10 o'clock, it will be available on all of uh, Good Shepherd's communication channels, YouTube, Facebook, uh, and uh, of course, you can always call the church office for any other information. We are happy to have uh, everyone with us this morning, and today, when we get to the colleagues, we are going to commemorate his name is Nicholas Ludwig van Zitzendorf. And Luz Nicholas was a uh, German religious and social reformer. He was Bishop of the Moravian Church, founder of uh, the Hernhunter Bundergemein Christian Mission. And it was a pioneering leg in, in Protestantism in his time. Uh, an interesting gentleman, and we will commemorate him later today in the colics. So let us begin on this beautiful day. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Our invitatory psalm is the Vanity, which we will say in unison. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are all the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Come, let us adore him. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 45. My heart is stirring with a noble song. Let me recite what I have fashioned for the king. My tongue shall be the pen of a skilled writer. You are the fairest of men. Grace flows from your lips because God has, has blessed you forever. Strap your sword upon your thigh, almighty oh warrior, in your pride and in your majesty. Ride out and conquer the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your right hand will show you marvelous things. Your arrows are very sharp, almighty oh warrior. The people are falling at your feet and the king's enemies are losing heart. Your throne, O oh God, endures forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate inequity. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you with all the oil of gladness above you, your fellows. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloe, and cassia. And the music of strings from your ivory palace makes you glad. King's daughters stand among the ladies of the court. On your right hand is the queen adorned with the gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and listen closely. Forget your people and your father's house. The king will have pleasure in your beauty. He is your master, therefore do him honor. 
The people of Tyre are here with a gift. The rich among the people seek your favor. All glorious is the princess as she enters. Her gown is a cloth of gold. In embroidered apparel, she is brought to the king. After her bridesmaids follow in procession. With joy and gladness, they are brought and enter into the palace of the king. In place of the fathers, O king, you shall have sons. You shall make them princes over all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another. Therefore, nations will praise you forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor my ways your ways, says the Lord. For the heavens are higher than the earth. So are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that for which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson is from Matthew chapter five. Jesus continued teaching from the mountain. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but it is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on the lampstand and gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together, you are God. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal father. All creation worships you. To all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church proclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit and advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in the glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. And now let us profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He descended, ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. So if you couldn't hear me, you might not know who Nicholas Ludwig van Zissendorf is. He was a prophet and witness, and he was one of the first bishops of the Moravian Church. So we begin our colics with the colic of the fourth Sunday of Easter. O God, whose son Jesus Christ is a good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A colleague to commemorate Nicholas Ludwig van Zissendorf, prophet and witness. God of new life in Christ, we remember the bold witness of your servant, Nicholas von Zissendorf, through whom with your spirit move to draw many to the faith and conversion of life. We pray that we, like him, may rejoice to sing your praise through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me, too many problems this morning. And now my favorite, a colleague for grace. Lord God Almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for self-dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ in all denominations, but particularly those throughout the Anglican communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Laveria, West Africa, the Most Reverend Jonathan Bobo Bonaparte Hart, Bishop and Primate. We pray for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our com companion diocese, remembering today, especially the Diocese of the Dominican Republic, the Right Reverend Moses Quazeda Mota Bishop. And now let us say a prayer for mission. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that your people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Martin, Shirley, Robert, Alan, Cindy, Christian, Joe and Connie, Ruth, 
Joe's, Joseph, Dave and Marion, Lynn, Rachel, George, Nolan, Mary, Drew, Charlie, Jake, Janie and Dennis, and Janet. We pray also today for our Connect Ministries, remembering especially good guys in morning glories, that the men and women of Good Shepherd may strengthen their bonds of fellowship and service, and youth group, that our middle and high school age members may know the fellowship of a Christian community. Now let us say together the Good Shepherd Parish Prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, make our parish of Good Shepherd truly a community of prayer and belonging. Raise up in our midst the resources and leadership which will enable us to act upon what you would have us do. In this place and in a ministry of love and concern for others, open my mind and heart to discern what you would have me do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your heart. Now I have my, the chat back. Uh, Ian asks, we pray, we pray for Susan, who has been admitted to the Patricia Neal Rehabilitation Center to help in her recovery for her stroke. And um, so we will say a prayer for Susan, that God will guide her in her therapy and that she will become back to the person that she was when be prior to the stroke. We ask this, dear Lord, in your name. And Joan asked that we pray for the memory of her Brian's birthday today as he resets rests in the arm of Jesus for the past 12 years. Um, I Maybe for, we should say, that we could say the birthday prayer, but we could also see, um, there's a, a prayer that I found of thanks and I, also being thankful because I am, um, my birthday is this week, Harry's birthday was last week, and I'm just very thankful. So I found a prayer of Thanksgiving because I'm sure that you are, Joan, you are very thankful for Byron, and um, we all want to remember him with you. So here is a prayer of thank you. Thank you for your amazing power and work in our lives. Thank you for your goodness and for your blessings over us. Thank you that you are able to bring hope, even through the toughest of times, strengthening us for your purposes. Thank you for your great love and care. Thank you for your mercy and grace. Thank you that you are always with us and will never leave us. Thank you for your incredible sacrifices so that we might have this freedom and life. Forgive us when we don't thank you enough for who you are, for all that you do, for all that you're given. Help us to set our eyes and our hearts on you afresh. Renew our spirits. Fill us with your peace and joy. We love you. We need you this day and every day. We give you praise and thanks for you alone are worthy. In God's name we pray. Amen. And that had a little thing in there. I have another prayer that was out there at another time. Uh, also, she's just thankful for this beautiful morning. And it is a beautiful morning. Um, I was thinking as I was looking at this that we, we were very good about praying for um, peace and for the Ukraine. And, and now I don't remember that the first when I first start. So I wanted to say a prayer for all the people of thanks of the Ukraine, that God will watch over them, that this can come to a positive end. We ask this in your name, O Lord. Amen. And I am thankful for all of you. Oh, I did have a prayer for that. Ian 
said to pray for, continue to pray for Father Doug. And of course, that is one that is actually in the prayer book. And here is one for um, the parish. Almighty and ever living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind with a holy church through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right. Now, technical difficulties this morning for sure. Let us say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all the days of our lives, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I apologize again for the um, technical dif difficulties. And as we end, we ask that everyone on this beautiful day go forward and be kind to all you meet. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.